Hello, let's look at another problem in the topic of moment. Um, this problem covers force couple system equivalency, uh, but it has a little bit of moment of uh, force about point in it as well. To keep this door shut, a wooden stick is wedged between the floor and the doorknob, and this ex uh, stick exerts at point B a force of 175 newtons in the direction of A. B. So that in the direction of AB, there is a force of 175 newtons. Direction A to B, magnitude 175 newtons. Replace this force or replace it, that means get rid of it. Instead, replace it with an equivalent force couple system at point C. So a force that's going to be at point C, I don't know which direction and what magnitude, so I'm just drawing a random random force, random direction, and random couple, um, equivalent couple direction as well. So I don't know what's going to be, so don't hold me um, you know, accountable to the direction I put in here. We have to calculate which direction um, they're actually pointing. So in this uh, problem, let's uh, start with basics. The major equation of equivalent force, or sometimes they show it as R, that means vector, is summation of all forces on the problem. In this case, we just have one F, we can call it FAB. It's just one force in this problem. But the equivalent force, equivalent force, is summation of all forces in vector form um, that are present here. I have a lecture on this one as well as equivalent moment that you can watch um, where I kind of explain these, uh, these equations. Couple, equivalent couple system, in this case about point C, okay, and that is summation of all free couples plus summation of all, all R cross Fs. Again, I explained this in a separate lecture. Uh, please watch that one if you are, uh, wanna know more, more about this. In this problem, we only have a force, so we don't have any free couple anywhere, so that's zero. And we only have one force, so the summation just turns into being a uh, position vector from point C to, it could be to A, it could be to B, so it could be RCB, it could be RCA, doesn't matter, because we go from point, from point, in this case C, to the line of action of this force. Line of action extends both sides, so it can go to B or it can go to uh, to A, cross F, A, B. So it looks like in order to find these two, to find F, R, and M, R, we need to find three things. F, A, B in vector in uh, vector form. We know it's 175. We know it goes from A to B, but we got to find it in vector form. Um, and we have to find, well, we have to find two things only, honestly. And then we got to find position vector, either C, B, or C, A. So let's just start, I'm going to clean this up. Let's just start with a force and then we'll do position vector and then we'll do a cross product. So let's, let's clean, uh, clean this up. There we go. So let's, let's figure out because we are going to do a, uh, some position vectors. Let's figure out the coordinates of these three points. A, B, and C in X, Y, Z, and then units. Uh, so point O, I'll take it as zero, zero, zero. If I do that, A is located on minus 100 millimeters. Uh, in Y direction, it's located at zero. And in Z direction, it is located at minus five, five, nine, four. Units of millimeters. Point B is located at 
Uh, it's given up there, minus 67 in x direction. In y direction, um, 990, and that's positive. And then in z direction, it is located as 0. There is no z coordinate. And then for point C, it's located at uh, right up there, minus 750. This is positive x, this is positive z, this is positive y. So if I'm going against that on the axis, that's negative, neg negative 750. Y located at, this is the y, 1850. And then z, it's on the x, y plane, so the z is also 0, units of millimeters. I like to kind of quickly build this table, so then I have the coordinates handy anytime uh, I want them. F, A, B is magnitude of FAB, which is given unit vector of AB. It is also magnitude of FAB, position vector AB over magnitude of position vector RAB. Okay, so in this case, Um, is going to be, the magnitude is 175 newtons. That's the magnitude. Position vector A to B is, you've got to subtract coordinates of B from A. I've done a lot of examples on this, and there is a lecture on position vectors, so please go back um, if you uh, want to know more about it. I'm going to write it quickly here. It's 33i plus 990j minus 594k units of millimeters. And then magnitude of it is square root of summation of a squared of all components. So 33 squared, 990 squared. 594 squared and that will be millimeters as well so you can do the math on this one the units here um, kind of cancel each other out and I will be left with 5i 150 J minus 90 K the units of Newton so this is my F a B that's part one. So go back to previous slide. Was well, summation of forces, in this case only one force. So that is my force equivalent that I will put on that, that point. Okay, again, because my FR is summation of all existing forces, there's only one force here, FAB. So that is my equivalent uh, force. Next, I got to do R cross F for the, now I'm going to try to find equivalent couple uh, system. Let, let's clean this up also. Well, before we do that, since I have the table, let's do RCB. You can do RCB or you can do RCA, doesn't matter. Again, I, I'm going to use the table. That means you got to subtract C from B in this table, the, com, uh, the uh, coordinates. So I'll do this one, kind of show it. Minus 67, minus, minus 750, and this is I. Next one is 990, minus 1850, that's J. Next one is zero minus zero, and that's K. So to simplify it, it's going to be 683i, 860j, plus 0k. You don't have to write the 0k part. I write it because I'm going to use it in the R, R cross F. Again, let's, let's look quickly back here. This is what I'm trying to find. There was no existing couples moment anywhere, so that was 0. All I have to do is summation of all R cross F's. There's just one force, 
FAB. So I'm doing RCB cross FAB. So MRCB cross FAB. Quickly build the matrix. I, J, K go on top. Result of this vector cross vector is another vector as you can see. So result of it should be a vector. That's why I have I, J, K in it. Components of RCB goes here. 6, 8, 3, 8, 6, 0. And then K is 0. You see what I did, did there? I convert a unit to meters. Because I eventually like to have it Newton meters. You can have it Newton millimeters. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I just prefer to convert it to meters. And then components of F go on the bottom, which was 5i, 150j, and 90 minus 90k. The units goes next to it. So if you do the calculation, again, I have a full lecture on this one. Explain the calculation. I do it in a lot of other examples. You will end up with 77.4 i 61.5 j 106.8 k the units are newton meters and this is your equivalent uh, moment i write the r f r here one more time um these two are your final answers for this problem. Thank you.